Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Agaturdy2744 here today to take a look at iTunes 11. This is not a full review, it's just a quick look at iTunes 11 because it was recently released. It's been delayed for a very long time, uh, and I was like, when's iTunes 11 coming out? I, I really honestly, on the consumer side of me, I really didn't care because I rarely use it on the PC and Mac, but whenever I do, it's usually for podcasting, uh, which is an important part of the iTunes edition for computer, PC, and Mac in this case, not mobile device computer, because you can pretty much consider those a computer nowadays, but, uh, you know, podcasting is an important side, which I'll talk about that in a little bit, uh, but let's go ahead and open up iTunes 11. First things first, a uh, new icon there, as you guys can see, not really a big thing for me. I really don't care about that. Uh, mainly what they did is they updated the user interface and design overall of iTunes 11. It's just a little update from the past version. Uh, it's nicer menu system, as you guys can see here. You have music, uh, movies, TV shows, and podcasts laid out there very nicely. Some categories up here like radio match genres, uh, albums, and stuff like that. I'll talk about the music section in a little bit. Uh, you also have your download thing here, which you guys can go ahead and click on, and it'll show your downloads that are currently going. It's very easy to manage the downloads there. Unfortunately, you can't uh, delete a download very easily. You still have to right click on it or backspace on it and then say yes, delete or whatever and confirm it and it's a pain in the ass still. Um, but basically, uh, one of the things I want to go ahead and mention here, one of the things that are just those little things that I care about in iTunes 11 is something kind of cool here. Uh, as you can see with the Tron Legacy theme, the primary color is black and with this banner they uh, made it black. It matches the album artwork which is kind of neat. It's just one of those little things. For the secondary color, as you can see, it has the blue and it matched with blue time as well as blue numbers and the artist uh, work right there is blue as well as you can see with the dead mouse album artwork uh, it's green black background again let's go to rusco show you the blue voila uh, it's kind of neat uh you know playing systems pretty much the same uh, one of the things i want to go ahead and mention is uh, the fact that this is kind of cool here. You have Up Next, which is kind of neat. Uh, if you want to play a song Up Next, let's go ahead and click and drag some Dead Mouse, and you can click here, and it'll play that right after the current song. You guys can also do this with podcasts, and you can do this with TV shows and movies as far as I'm concerned as well. Uh, visiting the podcast tab, I'm kind of disappointed because nothing ever seems to change with podcasts on the PC and Mac. I want to see some changes here. I know that it's not perfect on iOS. They have the podcasting application. It still needs a lot of work, uh, but I still prefer the iOS version. I still like to listen to podcasts more on iOS devices because it is tons better even with their bad application uh, on iOS devices in my opinion because look at it the the layout still sucks uh it's fine it's usable whatever but not a lot has changed and one of the problems i have with apple and their software section is the fact that not a lot changes in a really big way they they do tiny little things every now and then but it's really not that big of a thing uh and it's kind of irritating especially with ios i'm glad that they hired a handful of their employees or fired a handful of their uh past employees now that were involved in the software side of apple because you know i want to see more innovation i want to see some more change updates and stuff like that with uh, Apple software, which I don't think we're getting currently. I mean, with Maps, yeah, that was a little bit of change, but that was clearly just so that they could kick off Google Maps, and they were completely unprepared to release that. Uh, here, we're looking at iTunes here. Uh, it's nicer. It's better. It looks like the design that you see with iOS 6, iTunes on iOS devices. Uh, pretty much the same. Nice new layout there. Uh, which is kind of something I like. It seems to run a little bit faster as well. As you can see, very nice menu navigation. Again, this is iTunes 11. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe for more. Thank you, everybody, each and every single one of you, for watching the Zygotardy 2744.